Hi guys and welcome to 123. This video will show you the iPhone settings that you should turn off straight away. Okay guys, these settings I'm about to show you will do two things to your phone. It will save you battery life and it will also save you mobile data. So let's get started. Okay, so the first one you should turn off is iPhone Analytics. iPhone Analytics sends data to Apple and it could be a privacy issue as well. They use these analytics to see how you use your phone so they can improve their services. It also drains your battery life. So if you go ahead and turn it off, it's under settings, privacy, analytics. Just toggle the button at the top. If you have Apple Watch, it will also turn off the analytics on your Apple Watch. Again, this will give you more battery life on your Apple Watch as well. Also, while you're in there, turn off iCloud analytics. It's the same thing as iPhone analytics, except for iCloud. So toggle that one off as well, and you'll save yourself some battery life and some data. Turn off and improve Siri and dictation. This setting allows Apple to store and review the audio from your Siri interactions. For me, no thanks, I want to keep that private. Turn it off. Next up, turn off significant locations. Significant location tracks you everywhere you go. This also means it uses your GPS everywhere you go. This allows Apple to deliver targeted advertising to your phone. To turn this off, go into Settings, Privacy, Location Services. Otherwise, if you want to see where it's been tracking you, you can go into System Services, Significant Locations. You can turn it off in here, plus you can see where you've been and you can also clear the history. Turn off everything in system services that is unnecessary. Turn off everything apart from emergency calls and SOS, find my iPhone and share my location if you use that feature. If suddenly something does not work, you can come back in here and double check it. Otherwise, just turn them off. It will save your battery life and data. While you're in there, turn everything off in product improvement. This allows Apple to use your location to improve maps. So just go ahead and turn it off. Next up, you want to turn on limit ad tracking. This is one where the naming might be a little bit confusing. If you don't have this toggled on, then you are being tracked when you go from website to website. This is set up so that advertisers can advertise to you. You can turn this on under privacy and then advertising. If you want to see the information that is being used by Apple, tap the view ad information menu. Hit the reset advertising identifier button and then toggle limit ad tracking on. Set your email accounts to fetch instead of push. What this does is it only goes and gets your email when you open up the email app to take a look at it, rather than your phone wasting battery life to constantly check for new email. To turn it off, you can just use the toggle button at the top, or you can go into each account and turn it off that way. You can also select how often you want to fetch your mail. Every 15 minutes might be more suitable. Just remember the longer you leave this, the better your battery life will be. Turn off background app refresh. You can find this under settings general. This allows apps to download data in the background, even when you're not using them. Go ahead and look through these and turn these off for anything that you are not using. Raise to wake. Turn this off to save battery life. And you will find this under settings, display and brightness. Scroll down and simply toggle off the raise to wake button. 
What this does is when your iPhone screen is blank, it turns on when you raise it. Not a critical feature, but one that can save you battery life. Also guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as Forgotten Passcode on iPad, iPhone and iPod. And do me a favour, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.